Welcome everybody. Hello. It's Piccadilly Stampin' at 7 p.m. Central Time. We're uh, coming to you live from Palmyra, Missouri. You this betcha. is Pamela Pick and my husband Bill Pick. And come on in and join us. Say hello. Let us know where you're from. And we'll get started here shortly. Okay, I'll get that. You go ahead and... It just came up. Okay. You go ahead and get on there. And I'll say hello. Hi, friends. Hi, Kathy. Hello. Hi, Jean. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Jackie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's another Jean. There's Sherry. I have got the cutest little card tonight. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm sitting very well. Like, maybe I need to pull my camera back. So, I'm hoping I'm not going to make you guys sick. When right I... here. Yeah, right there. Right there? That's better. Okay, let's... Yep, and then pull down your one corner just down a little bit. Pull this corner down? No, your paper. On your paper. This paper? The, all of it, because you're off center. What, what do you mean? See how you got the line here? You're above the line there. You need to come down. Oh, this is, okay, that's, all right, that's good, though. I, I'm scared if I move it again, it'll click off like it did last time. Okay. So, welcome, everybody. I have the cutest, and I mean the cutest little fun fold for any occasion um, that I'm making, but... I want to show you a couple of things. So this is the card that we made last week. Only I said I was going to, instead of give away the um, cards this time, because normally if you share my video, you get to earn my cards for next week. And this was the card that we made last week. But I said instead of doing that, I am going to do a drawing for free product. So normally I have two cards that I give away, and this week I'm going to be giving away a stamp set and a ink pad. ink pad. So, you guys shared so well last week. Look at all those. I couldn't believe it. I really, truly do appreciate that. Now what Bill's going to do is he's going to grab two cards and let's do um, let's do this this way. Let's draw for the ink pad tonight, or right first, and then we'll draw for the stamp set so we have a okay. grand prize at the end, okay? That's right. All right. So, whoops, did you get two or three? Two. Okay. Yeah. Debbie Lyons. Debbie! Woo, 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 woo! You woo -hoo, have Debbie. earned yourself one of my absolute favorite um, colors in the purple category and I'm so excited to be able to send that to you so I happen to know Debbie so that's kind of nice yep. okay we'll put that aside can you put that away so I can <laughs> mail that off to her tomorrow okay who's next one Laura Lamb won the stamp set oh my gosh is Laura on uh, I thought <laughs> so Laura you know who I was kind of thinking might get this because she's always so lucky. And it's Critters. Because I was kind of thinking maybe it would be Jackie. But I think Jackie won last week though, didn't she? She must have. I think she did. I think it was mm -hmm. Jackie. And So Laura, can you hand me that so I can tape this to it and then I know who gets what. So this is the Festive and Fun stamp set. This is, I haven't even had a chance to look through these or use this set myself yet, but it's got the cute little moose that I like and the little mm -hmm. rhino. And look at the giraffe. Oh, he's so cute. It have a squirrel with it? A squirrel and moose? It has a, a beaver. beaver, not a squirrel. Yeah, but it's got a cute little, uh, it says, may your season be one that's festive and fun. Happy Christmas, witches, which I love that. Because everyone Ooh. says Merry Christmas. I love Happy Christmas. And then a little something for you with a lots with lots of love from me. Oh, so cute. So I'm going to hand this to you. Will you put this? Over here with the other one. But I'm going to talk Jackie into that stamp set. I'll that's have to right. Make something. Jackie needs the critters. 
she needs critters. Oh, hey, and before we go any farther, let me pull this out. I got a few cards from some people for my birthday. This card, I love these butterflies. And if you guys liked these flat butterflies, just hold your horses because my new pre-order is coming in. And we're only allowed to order certain things, but my pre-order comes in tomorrow. So I'll probably be going live for you guys tomorrow. Um, but this was from Nancy Franzenberg. So we call her feisty. So thank you, Nancy, for that. And then let's see, who is this from? This was from, no, this is from Nancy. Sorry. This is from Sherry. This is from Sherry. And then this one is from Nancy. So thank you guys so much for sending these to me. This one was from Bill Peck. Look at this. <laughs> oh my I gosh. Can I show them? Sure. Can I show them my chamois? Yeah. So, um, I probably don't even have this. So he came in here. Oh, you can still kind of see remnants. He came in here to use my stamps. Do you think maybe he stamped a little hard? So on the inside, he went ahead and <laughs> you can see it. You must have been slamming those things into my ink pad to have that much Left. I over. actually set the stamp down and tap the ink pad on top. Uh huh. What do I say? Small stamp, small pressure, right? Yeah, yeah. So I won't tell you what he wrote, but he did that on the inside. Isn't this just the cutest thing ever, though? And those so, are all the end colors. They are all the end colors. So thank you so much, Bill. You're welcome. And then the Ooh, last the one. Oh, I ha I gotta show. I know I love this turtle. He's one of my favorites. Um, so I have to. This is from actually Debbie, who won the stamp pad. Um, I have to show you this. Now, normally I don't. She doesn't have anything personal written inside. Normally I don't show you what's inside in case they have something personal or whatever. But look at this. First of all, hello. I love this die. It's one of my favorite dies, and I love the turtle. This is my favorite um, stamps. Uh, stamp in that set but another critter jackie <laughs> boy we're just picking on jackie if it isn't ribbons it's critters That's right. okay but look at this well jackie will appreciate this so look what she did on the inside ah look at that look at the floral. Ooh. it just pops right open how stinking cute so thank you so much you guys for those will you take that bill those i appreciate it so if you're new to me be sure to like and follow us you can follow us even on youtube we're on pinterest instagram where else are we i don't even know youtube youtube yeah and then stay with us because i've got some things big announcements <laughs> some big announcements coming up okay so I'm going to use the Gorgeously Made Bundle. It is a um, die set and stamp set. It is a red rubber. And I'm going to use the stamp set just for this hello. And the die, oh, i got to show you my new thing, too. I got these off of Amazon. I'm so tired of losing little bitty pieces. And I've got a lot of little pieces to this. But the die is in here, and I actually used it to cut this piece out. So we're going to be using this tonight. And then... I also am pairing it with, uh, um, so this is one of my mashups. Do you remember what my mashups are called, Bill? What they are? Different, different products from different. Yeah, different sets. lines from different sets. Yeah. So this is the Paper Florist. If you haven't seen this, I've done a couple things with it. Um, I, as you can see, it's got one flower here. There's different flowers in it that you can get, and I haven't even even cracked open enough, but I'm going to use one of my favorites. I'm also going to use the Countryside Corners for the um, inner labels on there because we're going to need a label. And then I'm pairing it with the new Garden Walk DSP. So if you haven't seen this stuff, it is lovely. Hey, that's a set we put together. Yes, it is. It is one of those from the paper share. Is that what you mean? Yep. So we're going to be using this piece of paper tonight. But it is very, very pretty. It has a lot of florals on it. And, of course, you know, it's the double-sided, so you get... The different papers on here but anyway let me put this aside and let's get rolling because let's get so before anyone asks 
I got this off of Amazon. It is a six inch by two, by three inch by two inch tall, and they actually let me grab one of one that's not being used. I'm using it to, when I'm putting them in my project drawers here, to put all the stuff, see I can stack them up, is that awesome? It's in the makeup section, I do not know what they're called. Here's the countryside dies, but it's going to hold all my little bitty things together, so that hopefully it'll keep me from losing it when I go live. So let's pull some stuff out. Um, here we go. I'm also going to... the paper. Yes. The paper originally comes 12 by 12 and you cut it down. No, the paper is a 6 by 6 paper. In fact, I have an unopened pack. I liked this so much that I did my own paper share and then I turned around and bought another pack of it. I love this. This is one of my favorite DSPs in it, but it comes just like so this. So it is 6 by 6 to start with. It is okay. a 6 by 6 to start. It's called Garden Walk. And it's absolutely stinking beautiful. And when you see how cute it is, what I'm going to use tonight, you're going to love it. Okay, so I'm using the Distress Tile Embossing Folder. And in here I have two pieces that I have a, a basic white that I've already run through just to save time. And That is so cute. This... The distress tile. The distress tile, yeah. Yeah, it is really. And these are. Yeah, you know, it looks like those old uh, ceiling tiles. It does look like that's what it's supposed to look like, the old ceiling tiles. But then you're going to have places that are kind of flat. Yeah. So this is cut at one and a half this direction by five and a quarter, and you'll need two of them for this project. I'm going to set that aside. Um, a basic white in the smaller of the countryside corner labels, and then one in Lost Lagoon. Um, you will need a piece of basic white that is cut at um, two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then you're going to need a card base. Now we're going to start right here. What color is that? This is Lost Lagoon. Okay. And I am going to cut this down to eight. So I had a little help with some math when I was coming up with this design. I'm not really good at fractions, but... I happen to be related to somebody who is. So we're going to cut this down to eight. It's actually Kristen's husband. Did you know that? The nerd? Yes. My little math nerd that helps math me out. Nerd. <laughs> he helps me out though quite a bit, so be nice. I know. Did I cut that down to eight? Yes, eight. As long as he shares okay. the pumpkin bars. Uh, yeah. I doubt you're going to get that. Uh, probably not. So I, let me take... We're going to use the scoring blade while I have this out here. So I'm going to move the trimming blade down. So this is cut at eight by five and a half. And then we're going to start it by scoring at one and three quarters. So right here. And then I want to score again at two and three quarter. So we're going to go one inch over. This is one of my favorite tools of all time. I think if I had to be without anything, I could still make cards, but not without my trimmer. Um, let's see, five and a quarter. So five and a quarter. And then six and a quarter. Now on here, you have to really kind of pay attention, but the six and a quarter is right. There's six. Right there. It is there, but you got to pay attention. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. Now, I went ahead because you guys tell me that you like your very visual. So here it is. One and three quarter, um, two and three quarter, five and a quarter, and six and a quarter. Okay, and then we're going to fold it like this so it makes this kind of zigzag. Did, was that helpful? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, we're going to fold this down. So, coming from the inside here, I'm folding both of these sides down because I want that outside to stick up. What? Gary's watching. Is Gary watching? <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Hi, Gary. 
Everyone say hi to Gary. <laughs> he helps me with my math. And then we're going to go this way. I really struggle with fractions. I can figure it out when you tell me, but to actually. So see how we made that? Isn't that cute? So this will mail, it's going to come across at four inches by five and a quarter, but it will mail. And to accommodate that little extra um, quarter inch, we're going to make this be a little tall. So let's You're going to post those dimensions later. I will post those dimensions, yeah, to for scoring on this. Yeah, It'll be right. on my blog. So when I post, um, when I, uh, it'll probably be done tomorrow. But when I, I'm going to go ahead and, and glue these on while I'm talking. So I'm just going to adhere these on with a little of the green glue onto the, um, the front part. This is going to be the front of our card now. So I'm going to adhere that on. Um, yes, I will post it. And so when I post my link after this video, um, it'll have a picture that comes up. That will take you right to my blog. If you follow the, that and click on that, that'll take you right to my blog, which can also take you to my uh, YouTube channel. Okay. So we'll set that down there. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Am I in trouble with Gary? No. You wouldn't tell me if I was. I, well, I don't see anything. Okay. <laughs> the ladies are giving a hard time. Gary, make this card post later so we can work on it. <laughs> yeah, Gary, make this card. Okay, so to Gary's credit, um, he is married to a card maker. A very talented card maker. Everyone say hi to Kristen. Hi, Kristen. <laughs> okay, so we've got those on there. I'm going to set this aside, and here's a piece of that DSP, and I chose this one because this has the Lost Lagoon and the and the um, pretty peacock in it, which I think really offsets this. So we're going to cut this. I'm going to bring my trimmer back out, and we're going to cut the DSP at two and a quarter. by five and a half. Okay. And now this piece is gonna go into the center. Oops, I said five and a half and I meant five and a quarter, you guys. Well, at least, at least you can cut it at five and a quarter and want five and a half. Right. Because you don't have that stretcher anymore. I don't have the paper stretcher, no. That's right. So, I am I hope Gary does take on the challenge. I'll even send you the, the paper for free, Gary, if you actually make a card and post it for the ladies to see. So, Gary and Bill are kind of a comedy act. Just an FYI. They said hi, Izzy, because they heard her pitter patter. Yeah, she's she's still she in better. healing mode, but she is slowly getting better. Talk to the vet today. We've got to go a few more weeks out on the antibiotic, and she's got to keep taking her awful baths. She doesn't care for them much, does she, Bill? No, she does not. Okay, so now let's set this aside. We're going to let that dry. It's so pretty. Isn't it already pretty? Oh, I just love it. Gary says he accepts the challenge. Oh, he does, huh? I may have to send him something. Okay, so I'm going to use that hello that I was talking about. And hello. are you Adele singing hello? hello? And so I'm going to, now watch how you do this, Bill. I'm going to grab a piece of paper, a scrap piece of paper here. So, it's a small stamp, right? It has small oh, letters. Oh, no. Shut up. <laughs> I made you a card. 
You did make me a card. See, small stamp, small pressure. Okay, so that's going right the way I want it. So small pressure. Like they said and I'm earlier, gonna... tap, tap, tap for Bill. Is... Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up in the top right-hand corner here. So tap lightly get that ink on there but I'm gonna have I am gonna have to stand using your grid paper to make sure that you're lined up straight and a block that's bigger than your stamp is the easiest way to see through that you've got that on I don't know if you guys have noticed that I very rarely ever put the labels on I, I now if you have to I understand but it sticks so nice with this that I just never do. Oops, where am I going here? All right, so I've got that hello there. Now I can go ahead and glue this down to the Lost Lagoon. I think really what needs to happen is you and Gary need to come and do a live demonstration nope, for the nope, ladies nope, together. Nope, nope. Yeah, I think that's what should happen. And I bet you the ladies would want to see that. I would like to see that, actually. I would pay money, Gary, if you came down here and stamped with Bill live. Okay, so now we have that. Probably have a lot of fractions in it. Probably a lot of fractions, but as long as I'm not having to do it. Okay, so here's that piece that I had before from the Gorgeously Made Bundle. I cut out another piece. Um, this is from the... What is it called? Paper Floris? Yeah, Paper Floris dies. I cut that one. I cut out... I wonder if Jackie has that since it's floral. I don't know if Jackie has it. Jackie, do you have this one? you have to ask her. Um, let me get this one out. This is going to be the stamen of my flower. This is in... These are in Pretty Peacock. These are in... Um, wild wheat and if you can see this is why this is so tiny so I cut out a few extras so we can have them if they get blown away all right and then here's the dies for it so the first thing and this is all from the paper florist dies so the first thing I want to do is grab a bone folder you can go up you can go down now on this particular card I'm gonna go down I'm just gonna curl these petals down And I'm going to do it on the small one, too, because I want almost like a raised dome look, almost like a, one of those cone flowers, even though this isn't a cone flower. I love this kind of um, 60s, 70s vibe of this flower. And I just use some of the green glue, but for me, it's, it's the most inexpensive. And so if you put it on here, you do have to wait a minute for it to dry. But I'm going to have them go kind of crisscross over each other. It doesn't take that long. As long as you're not, like, putting a big blob of glue. What? <laughs> I wasn't blaming anyone. You come up pretty guilty off of that, Bill. <laughs> okay, here we go. What I like about the green glue is it gives me just a minute to move it around if I need to. Okay, then on the stamen, I'm going to go ahead and turn this up. So I have found that wild wheat is actually a valuable color, but for me it's got to be in moderation. I know some people have really ended up enjoying it. I'm not to the point of saying I, I enjoy it. But I do like it in this particular situation. I think it looks really nice with this DSP. So I'm just going to add that down and I'm going to give that, press that down just to give it a minute to adhere. Now on this little piece, I'm probably going to have to use my little tool here to pick this up and lay it down. I want just the littlest dot. This stuff is fairly sticky, so you don't need much. And then I can use 
the putty in to pick that up and just put it on and hold it down there this for a minute. Take my pick tool. This is the take your pick tool. Yep. I love it. It's got the putty in and there's, you can get extra attachments. So this is one that I like to take my, the lining off the ribbon, which I suppose that's probably not what his intent was, but <laughs> probably not. <laughs> probably not. Okay. So now that we've got this set up, let's move that aside and let's bring our card base back. So I know that I don't want glue because I want this to fold up on me. So I don't want glue that goes over these edges. So what I'm going to do is kind of eyeball where I want this to go. And I think that looks pretty good. And I know that I need about that much. Do you, do you see my specific measurement? But that drives Gary crazy. Um, right there. This gives me a few minutes to get that. So now when I fold this up, you're going to see that sticking out the side. It's not stuck down here. And just remember, can't win it if you don't share it. That's right. That's right. There's a bunch of people sharing. <laughs> it's cute, isn't it? It's super cute. Okay, I'm, I plan on making more of these. I think for this, instead of going with every one having a glue dot, I think what I might do is I might just come in here. I want to know how many people. I'm just going to use a little stamp and seal. I want to know how many people want to try to make this layout. And the first one that comes to mind, I'm picking on her again, is Jackie. She's been doing that layout from the Christmas stuff. And it's so cute. So we hope. Now let me take but a she look. She doesn't have this set. Oh, she doesn't? No. Oh, I'm talking about the fold. Oh, you can use fold. any set yeah. or any paper that you have. I teach folds. She took that and went crazy on it. That one from the Christmas one? Oh, really? Yeah. So, cool. okay. I've got this, and I think what I'm going to do is grab a dimensional There's one, two, three, four, and stick this five. here. And you know what? How can I do this? I used a special container to keep my stuff so I didn't lose that little bitty piece and I'm missing a piece. What? No way. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm missing a piece. Okay, so we'll just cut out a piece, that's all. <laughs> I can't believe I'm missing a piece, but I am missing a piece. No kidding. No kidding. Okay, where, where did that other piece go? Oh, here's this. So I want to see where I'm putting down so that I can put this one down. So this is down. all on my stamp and seal right at the moment. Okay. Okay. So now I've got a little dimensional under there so that I can keep that. At a little bit bigger height. Now, if you guys will give me just a moment, I've lost somewhere a little piece, and I'll show you what I've lost. So there's two different um, pieces that if you want to have middle pieces, there's two different pieces to have like the middle of your flower, and I'm going to just throw... Oh, I only saw one of those from the beginning. You did? Yeah. Well, I don't know where it is, so we're going to... Uh, you lost it before the show. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm actually on my um, stamp and cut and boss machine doing this very quick because I have it set up right behind me so that I can come back in. And it's like magic, right? Here I am again. It would not be a Facebook... I, I'm getting to the point where it's just not a Facebook Live if I don't screw up. So I have this other little piece that I'm going to stick in the center because, like I said, a little bit of the wild wheat does me just fine. Now, I am going to use one of the smaller dimensionals, and I'm going to take this one and go right here. Is that it, Bill? No, that's not it. So Nope. <laughs> Wrong color. Okay, I'm going to layer these up, and I did add just a mini dimensional under that one. And I will, maybe I'll come out a little bit farther. I'll 
come out a little bit farther. There we go. So you can see how I'm building this up, right? So this one is one that's a little bit more fussy. For those of you who like to spend a lot more time, this is going to be right up your alley. Now let me grab some. This is our Baker's Twine Adhesive Essential Pack. And I'm going to make a little bow right here. Is that for Jackie? The What? The bow. The bow. <laughs> Poor Jackie. <laughs> now I'm starting to feel bad here. <laughs> oh, Jackie, we tease because we love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I started something that I guess now. Seven layer salad going on there. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I do on my Wednesdays. I don't do my simpler cards on Wednesdays. I know. Okay, so I took out the take your pick tool to use that, but it ended up sticking to my finger. So we're just going to stick it right down here to the card and put just a teeny weeny little bow right there. And this was just the white Baker's Twine. Simple enough. Most of us have that in our stash. Okay. And then I'm going to pull out. This is the adhesive Wait, back there's sequence. There's more. <laughs> I don't know about you tonight. <laughs> okay. I love it. And then I'm gonna just going to take over here, just like I do on so many of my cards. I put the two in one of the corners. I put those there so that when you have the card folded up, you can still see it. And since this card is, is a little bit heavy, it takes some of that weight off of there. Okay, now wait, there is more actually. What? Yeah, I'm not done. You know me. <laughs> Let me put some of this stuff up. I'm like making a mess over here. Any questions or anything so far, Bill? They love the card. Good. I love the card. I think it's just stinking cute. Okay, let me get all this stuff out of the way. So then I had told you that you would need a piece of paper. Let's see if I cut it right. Uh, five and a quarter. Yeah, that's cut right. By two and a quarter, and that's cut right. Now, remember when I was cutting the paper, there was a little piece left? Well, it was the piece that fits perfectly yeah, here. Yeah, probably not going to be a critter tonight, is there? No critter tonight, no. No critter, Jackie. You're, out, you're, you're lucky. It's just flowers. It's just flowers. <laughs> but I want to see you make this card now. You've been making my cards here pretty good following the instructions. So, Okay, so now what is this piece for? Well, it's for okay. the back. You now I can put it in there. Well, I'm not going to glue this down because they can't write on this. So I will send this along to whoever wins it. But um, then you can write your message and then glue it down right there. And so you have your little card right here. Jackie says she's on it like white on rice. There we go. Good. <laughs> I knew you could do it. You've been doing a lot of these fun fold recently. So... That is the card, and I have the original one here. So these are for next week's giveaway. You can't I, win them if you don't share them. That's right. You have to share to get into the drawing. Um, be sure to like and follow us. So I've got a couple of announcements. Piccadilly Ooh, Game Night. Game so, Night. Game Night. <laughs> Bill and I are not settled on the day yet. We have to look at his schedule from work. We're looking at, I, I wanted to do it on the Saturday, but I'm scared that people would be trick-or-treating. So right now we're looking at the 27th, but um, this thing, there's going to be a lot of fun to be had. So here's what you get with it. It is, um, it is three Facebook Live demonstrations a half pack of DSP, and actually it's going to be this DSP that we use tonight, um, a full roll of ribbon, but it's a different ribbon, a full pack of embellishments, three games of Pingo, which is 
similar to bingo, if you're not familiar with my pingo. It's bingo. One mystery stamping and a possibility of winning a prize is everybody who participates in the mystery stamping will get their name into um, for our drawing. A uh, drawing for a door prize, the possibility of earning the grand prize bundle, and I have it ordered already coming. It is a bundle. It is stamp and die set, not, not anything here. Um, an all attendee gift for early registration, and I don't have this open yet. A Piccadilly purchase prize for qualifying orders, pre-cut card stocks enough to make six cards, and bunches of crafty fun with friends. So we usually have a small um, knit group of people, and it's pretty fun, but we're always open to have some more. Uh, speaking of free entertainment here, now that isn't free. I don't have that price settled yet, but we're looking at the end of this month. Um, there is Stampin' Up! is having a free virtual card making event. It is absolutely free. You don't have to sign up or register. They're just kind of wanting to see who all's interested in it. I will tell you this. I've never been to one. I'm going to be in, in attendance to this one, so I would love to see you there. They are going to be using, I know for sure, the Heartfelt Hexagons, um, and I think the Circle Sane set, and I cannot think of the one. It's the... Is Mary Jo on here? She is. Mary Jo, it's the set that you were just asking about because I don't have it and I can't think of the one, the name of it, but it was the one that you just asked on our VIP group. Um, can you throw that name in there? So there's going to be some demonstrations and it's free. So Earthen. Earthen, yes. Earthen Elegance or something? Earthen Textures. Earthen Textures. So um, if you have any of those, you can stamp along. Most likely, they make the projects easy enough that you um, can... If you don't have those sets? Yeah, that's what I was saying. They make the projects easy enough that you can probably stamp along. I probably won't be making the projects, but I'm going to have it on and for inspiration, and I'll be sitting here doing my stuff. When I point over there, that's because that's where my computer is. This is my workstation. That's where I'm at. That's where Bill's at. <laughs> Um, your choice. They have the most phenomenal, and I mean phenomenal uh, set. In fact, one of my VIPs took it up, and they, and they joined. Yeah, Cindy joined. So, um, 35 years Stampin' Up! is celebrating, and the way they're choosing to celebrate it is offer a major discount for joining. You get 35% off of the starter kit, which is $64.35 for $125 worth of product. Hello? What? Plus, that, free business. Yes, you get free business supplies, a free paper pumpkin, um, uh, free, free catalogs. Free. Uh, what else? I can't think of what else comes with it. Oh, they, they do the, the shipping. The shipping's free. Or the other option is you can get 35% more product with your kit. So you spend the 99, which is the normal, in getting 125. Only this time you spend the 99 and you get 168.75. But wait, there's more. There is more. On top of this, there is a registration fee that all of us demonstrators have to pay. It, it, this year we're having a stamp. It's a virtual event that we're having for our on stage. You get to go for free. That's seventy-seven dollar value that we had to pay, and if you join, you get to go for free. It is free stamping, free inspiration. That's in November, and that's in November. Yeah. So the other benefits are is right now, like my pre-order is coming tomorrow. Yay! Cannot wait to show you on that stuff. You guys will get to order. You can order all everything off the pre-order in your kit. So, pretty awesome. Um, yes, I'm having a Piccadilly Parfait this week, and yes, it's fabulous. It's just as fabulous as, as this, only it's not a fun fold, but it's so, it just, it just says fall, don't you think, Bill? Yes, it just it says does. fall. So for those of you who are into fall and autumn stuff, you're going to love it this this Friday. So that's at 4 p.m. Central Time. Hey, don't forget to check out the clearance rack. There's still some items on there. And there's a couple of things that I am like surprised are still on there. There's one stamp set and die that go together. And there's the apple. The apple 
uh, dies that go to the apple set that's in our what? annual catalog? No yes, yes, that's in there. Um, they still have the um, special release papers. If you're in my VIP group, you saw that I um, I did the Traditions of St. Nick. So cute. Um, please, if you need to order any items from me, and I sure do appreciate that. It helps me to keep coming uh, live and present with you guys. Please use my host code. This is my current host code for all orders that are $149.99. And was there anything else, or is that it? That That's it. it. So, you guys, thanks so much for joining us tonight. And I hope this provides you some crafty inspiration. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.